Hello everyone, this is Aria from the Sayari channel, and I'm here today with just a quick tutorial on how to install Reshade for Batman Arkham Knight. Now, for those of you who might not be aware, Reshade is a pretty simple uh, mod that you can download, not just for Arkham Knight, but for pretty much any game out there that uh, works to improve your graphics, essentially. And there's lots of different ways you can use Reshade. Some people use it for just minor touch-ups, and other people use it for massive visual overhauls. Uh, so, for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to be showing you how to install a preset, not how to actually make your own preset, but know that using the software you can make your own presets to customize the game to look the way you want it to look. Uh, and just as a quick uh, preview of what this type of change can look like, uh, this right here is the base game, Arkham Knight. This is what the game normally looks like. This is, un well, the snow is modded technically, but the other visuals are not modded. This is what my game looks like. Uh, you can see here that my graphic settings are all on high. I have chromatic aberration and film grain off uh, because I am using reshade to put those into my game later. But everything else we just have on high and we have enhanced light shafts off. Otherwise, everything is just maxed out. Uh, we're playing at 1080 because I'm on a laptop and my screen's only 1080, so it can't go higher than that. Um, but yeah, so this is base game, and if I just hit a button on my keyboard now, you can see this is the game with reshade on. And you can see it makes a pretty noticeable visual difference. The game looks a lot more vibrant, a lot more bright, and this is a reshade that I made trying to emulate the visual style of the Batman movie, the 2022 Batman movie. So, yeah, we're going to be showing, I'm going to be showing you how to install this reshade today, how to get your game looking as good as mine does here. Okay, so I have now uninstalled reshade from my game, so that way I can show you guys how to install it here. As you can see, I have the game installed, and that's pretty much the only prerequisite you need in order to install Reshade. There's no other required mods or anything. Reshade is something you can download completely on your own. It's not on the regular mod page because it's just its own separate thing. So all you're gonna wanna do to download Reshade is we are going to open a new tab in Google and just Google search Reshade. I've done that here. So you can see all of Google search is Reshade, R-E-S-H-A-D-E. -E. Click on the first link that shows up and it'll bring you to this homepage where you can click download and you'll get two download options here. There's download reshade and then the current version number. And then there's download reshade with add-on support. Now, add-on support works with most games so long as they're not multiplayer. Um, that being said, the vast majority of the time you won't need the version with add-ons. If you are installing a preset, it might tell you potentially that you need the one with add-on support. But unless you see that, I'd say you're probably better off just getting the regular version of Reshade. So we're just going to click on the top link. When you click on that, it's going to open the download. Uh, I am going to hit cancel because I already have the file downloaded. But once that file is done downloading, you can just open that right up. And you'll get this page right here. And I'll make that a bit bigger for you. So what this is doing is it's scanning through my files. It's looking for anything that it thinks might be a game. It's essentially just looking for execution files. It's just going to be scanning through your device. Uh, you might be seeing it update a bit slower or faster depending on your computer, but uh, it's just going to keep scanning for games. If you already know what game you're looking for and you see it there, you can just click on it. If for some reason the game that you're looking for doesn't show up on here, all you have to do is hit browse and then find the file. Uh, in my case, uh, Batman Arkham Knight shows up right here, so I could just click that. But just to show you guys where it would be, you can also click Browse. And then for me, my game is in my D drive under Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and then Batman Arkham Knight. And the location of the file we need is under Binaries, Windows 64. And then it's right here, Batman Arkham Knight. So I'm just going to click on that there. And you're just going to open that. Hit next, and it's going to bring you to this page here. It's going to ask you what uh, what rendering API the game uses. Batman Arkham Knight uses DirectX 10, 11, 12. 
if you were downloading reshade for a different game you could probably find out with just a quick google search what rendering api the game uses uh, but like i said batman arkham knight does use 10 11 12 so you just hit next and now here it's asking you what shaders you want so if you already have a preset that you want to use uh, what you can do actually is just hit the browse button here and then find that file and it will install just the shaders for the preset that you plan on using uh we're going to be assuming that you either want to make your own shader or maybe you want to try out a variety of shaders so we're going to just install everything you can do that really quickly you can either go down just check everything but you can also just hit uncheck all and then hit it again and it will now check everything uh, so this will install every shader that reshade has um now this won't it, they won't all be active at the same time when you boot up the game it's just giving you the option to turn them on once you're in the game so you hit next and now this is going to take a second it's just installing all of those shaders for us okay so you can see now that our shaders have finished installing it took a little bit but uh when it's done you'll just see this check mark says successfully installed reshade and then all you have to do is click finish now that is the main part of installing reshade that that's the bulk of it now now when you open your game you will have reshade now before i open my game and show you that it's worked uh we are going to first install a reshade preset now if you're installing reshade for the first time i highly recommend you install a preset uh before you just go and start hitting buttons because most it's a lot easier to get an idea of what a reshade could look like once you've seen somebody else's i know i have installed so many different reshades while i was making mine just kind of looking at what effects are people using to achieve a certain effect so we're going to just close that reshade tab we don't need that anymore we don't need this right now this is my reshade preset here. Um, I have this, obviously. Uh, this works, though. You could just hit manual download here. Otherwise, there are several reshades on here. If you go most popular of all time, actually several of the biggest mods for Arkham Knight are reshade mods. So Arkham Vision also works. Um, there's several different versions of this one. As you can see, I've downloaded all of them before. Um, just for right now though uh, i'm going to install reshade just added here this is a reshade i do not have yet uh, this is a snowpack i think it looks very nice so all you have to do again this is going to be the same for pretty much any reshade preset uh it's it's just saying how much brightness it needs all you have to do hit download uh the requirements that were listed there were just reshade and a a different skybox so in my game it's not going to look the way it should because i'm not going to be using that skybox right now uh but there we go so once i download that you can see i get this i just opened it with winrar um and all right so when we click on that we see there's three versions in here that's all right uh we we're just gonna i'm just gonna use all three right close that real quick and the way that we are going to add this preset is going to be pretty simple all we got to do is go here. Um, this is on Steam, obviously. Go here, go manage, browse local files. That is going to open your game file. I might have more files here than you do because my game is so heavily modded. Um, all you have to do, very simple, go binaries, Windows 64. This is where our Batman Arkham Knight file is. And then we're going to take this file here. And we're just going to drag and drop these in here. And then we can close WinRAR. We don't need that anymore. And now we can open our game. So now at this point, we have finished installing Reshade. You can see here, we've got this pop-up at the top of our screen. It says that Reshade is now installed successfully. This might not show up immediately for you. It does need to uh, verify all the shaders and all that. But once it's done, you'll get this. And we'll say press home to start the tutorial. We hit home. This will give us a tutorial. We're not going to click on that right now. We're just going to hit skip. And this is the basics of reshade so you can see here we've got our list of all the shaders clicking them turns on off uh the only things that i think that as the average user you'll need to know about reshade is up here clicking on this 
uh, goes to the folder where Reshade is installed, which is the folder where your game is, and we'll look for um, Reshade presets. As you can see, I have a lot of Reshade presets. You'll probably only have one or two. You just have to remember what the name of the file is. Uh, the Reshade that I just installed was this here. It's in this file. So if we double click on that, and then click on that, you can see there, it applies that Reshade, right? If I wanted to apply my own Reshade, that's just down here. Like that. And there we go. That's now applied. So that is the main part of using Reshade. Uh, the other things that I think should be noted for the average user is that you can go to settings here. And this will allow you to change your key bindings. So maybe you don't like home as the overlay key. You can change that. I'm going to leave it. Uh, I like to have an effects toggle key. I, I normally just set it to end. So now whenever I hit end, it will turn on and off my reshade shaders. Uh, and then finally, by right clicking on a shader up here, you can set key bindings for specific shaders. So maybe you don't want to turn off all of reshade, but maybe in some circumstances, this reshade or this part of my reshade is a bit too powerful for my computer. So I have a toggle, just turn that on off, turn that on off. And then that makes it a lot easier to use uh, because my reshade and I know quite a few other reshades that exist as well are made with photo mode in mind as well as gameplay. So in my case, some of these mods are very performance heavy and my game runs really poorly when I have them on, but I'll use them for either showcase or photo mode. And then when I'm just playing the game, I just toggle them off and the game runs smoothly and looks still very similar. So with that being said, that is essentially all you need to know about reshade that essentially covers everything about reshade but i do want to go over one more thing before i end this tutorial which is post processing removal it's that other tab that you saw i had open earlier and let me just go into the game quickly and show you what post processing does okay so i've toggled off my reshade this is just the vanilla game this is how it looks when i boot it up obviously again my snow is still modded but this is vanilla Arkham Knight. This is what the game looks like. And Arkham Knight is a game that has a lot of post-processing. Post-processing is, for those of you who might not be aware, post-processing is essentially just these effects that are added onto the screen after the game has been rendered. So your game, it consists of these 3D models, all these textures and all that. And then on that, that's what the game's rendering. And then on top of that, it has post-processing, these extra effects. Um, my reshade, and I know many other reshades, are designed for you to turn off at least some of those post-processing effects and then allow reshade to do the heavy lifting. Uh, because the whole point of these post-processing effects is essentially to make the game look better. But we're using reshade for that now, so we don't need these post-processing effects as well and the post-processing effects can just make it a bit harder to edit things in Reshade sometimes. So uh, I have installed right now, and I'm going to show you how to install these uh, the uh, mod that allows you to remove or partially remove these post-processing effects. And just so I can show you what that looks like, uh, this is the game with no post-processing. This is what Arkham Knight actually looks like before they put all these filters in. And it looks quite a bit worse in my opinion it looks a lot worse uh, you're losing all that fog all that ambience uh, but this mod also gives you the option to use partial post-processing which is when some of the effects are on but not all of them and that would look like this now this looks a lot better in my opinion uh, and then there is also full post-processing which is this you're adding in that fog pretty much that that's the main thing from the full post-processing is all this fog and this kind of blue ambiance which uh, is mostly there just to hide that textures are not very well rendered from far away. You can see if we turn off our post-processing, you can kind of see that even like not that far away, the textures aren't great just because of the way the game is. Um, but yeah, so, and just to show you what that's like with Reshade, this is full post-processing with Reshade on. Looks like this with Reshade off. Or, well, sorry, with partial post-processing, it looks like this. So it makes it makes a pretty notable difference. It's it's very noticeable. Some people will prefer it with post-processing on, and that's completely okay. That's up to you. 
Uh, I personally prefer partial post-processing. So, yeah, I'm going to stop yapping, and let's just show you how to get Okay, with my game closed again, all you're going to want to do is go to Batman Arkham Knight's Nexus mod page and search post-processing removal. Um, it's the only thing called that, made by John O12312. This mod is very useful. There's several ways to disable post-processing. I've used several of them before, and I personally believe that this is the easiest way. The only real downside to using this method is that when you boot up your game, it will tell you that you've modified a file and that it could potentially lead to corruption. It doesn't prevent you from playing the game or anything, but it does give you an error code. Uh, I just want to preface that just so nobody is confused. They download this mod and they're like, oh, I'm getting this error code. Your game is fine. That's just how that's just what happens when you download this mod. All right. So again, what this mod does is it gives you the option to toggle between default Arkham Knight, partial post process. Oh, no, that's full post processing removal and partial post processing removal using the keys on the numpad. But yeah. So if you don't have a numpad on your keyboard, you can go into that file and change it as long as you've set it back to read only afterwards. Uh, I won't be showing you how to do that because I haven't done it before, so I'm not certain how well I could do it. But again, this is very easy, very safe to use. Uh, all you have to do, hit manual download. I'm going to download it right here. Uh, I have this file already, but I don't know where it is on my computer, so we're just going to download it, open it like that. All right, once that's open, you see we have these folders, binaries, and BM game. Close this now. All you got to do, very easy. Go again, manage, browse local files. Opens our game folder again. Take our files, drag, and drop in here. There we go. That is all that you need to do. That will now be installed. Now when you boot up your game, you'll be able to toggle post-processing, partial post-processing, just using those keybinds there. You'll be able to pair it with reshade, and it will all work great. So that's going to be the end of this tutorial. I don't have anything else to say. I hope that you found this helpful, and I hope that you are able to get your game looking the way you'd like to. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.